Scuderia Ferrari arrives in Australia with the desire to impress and make the most of a solid SF24 car, despite the fact that it is clearly not at Red Bull's level. Still, the Italian side arrives at the Albert Park circuit with every intention to push. Carlos Sainz missed the second round of the 2024 Formula One season in Saudi Arabia, after a sudden bout of appendicitis left him physically incapable of participating following emergency surgery. Thankfully for Carlos Sainz and Ferrari, his surgery was successful, and the Spaniard will take to the track behind the wheel of the SF24 car for the first free practice sessions, in the hope that he will not feel any pain and will be able to race for the entire weekend. There's a lot of pressure on the Milton Keynes team because ultimately, in Formula One, in order to progress, technical factors and belief in one's abilities must necessarily coexist. Making no errors and maximizing resources over the Melbourne weekend, this is the goal of the Marinello team for the third round of the 2024 Formula One season, the longest world championship campaign in history. In practical terms, through our technical analysis related to the Australian circuit, we have defined Albert Park's track, in terms of the necessary vertical thrust, as medium to medium high load. Moreover, we must certainly recall the presence of some high speed sections where it is possible to use the mobile device of the rear wing. Therefore, given the aerodynamic data, the need for Ferrari to excessively unload the car is not imperative. If we examine Red Bull's configuration based on the first images from the Melbourne paddock, it is clear how the studies conducted in the simulator have led the reigning world champion team towards a clear choice. A specific medium to high downforce specification seen in the opening race at the Bahrain International Circuit located in Sakir. This setup has a very extensive frontal area, but it's something that Milton Keynes can afford, considering the high level of aerodynamic efficiency produced by the RB20 car. The main plane is quite pronounced with a decidedly aggressive attack angle. The cord of the second flap is very extensive for a reason, to find a lot of speed once the drag reduction system system is open, Scuderia Ferrari instead aims for medium load, the same choice made in the two previous rounds in Bahrain and Jeddah. There is also a second specification that features a second flap with a non-constant cord. In other words, the second component upward presents a reduced cord in the central area, useful for containing the drag. This specification has so far remained on the drawing board, in terms of frontal area, the Italian side is more conservative than Red Bull and has a less pronounced main plane, as can be seen from the photographs coming from the Melbourne pit lane. Although the wing remains the same, the level of load installed varies considerably depending on the circuit layout. The difference in generating vertical thrust is sought in the adjustments of the beam wing. These are different specifications through which the Marinello technicians adjust the load points at the rear of the red SF24 car. The Italian team, at least in this very early part of the 2024 Formula One season, is therefore choosing to use a fixed base for the rear wing, rather than embarking on the use of different specifications on which the coefficient of downforce and level of drag produced would have to be calculated each time. The goal is therefore to optimize a single solution with the help of the beam wing, just as Red Bull did throughout the surprising and dominant 2023 F1 championship. A similar situation for McLaren, which brings onto the track the rear wing specification already present on the 2 MCL38 during the first two races of the season. The main plane is designed in such a way as to concentrate most of the load in its central section. The measure aims to unload the extremes of the specification to reduce side effects. Mercedes on the other hand, considering the problems encountered in this start of the championship, at the moment seems to have chosen the classic spoon-profiled wing, capable of producing medium aerodynamic load. The Brackley team can afford to provide greater downforce to the W15, as compared to last year, given the fact that a significant step forward has been made in terms of efficiency. Two weeks ago, at the Jeddah circuit in Saudi Arabia, the grey and black cars were among the fastest in terms of end of straight speed. Additionally, the Mercedes engineers seek more vertical thrust at the rear of the W15 in an attempt to cure the car's oversteering behavior, which Lewis Hamilton and George Russell complained about several times in Jeddah. Over the weekend, they will delve into the causes of problems related to the lack of load in some speed ranges and testing two different types of floor.